Happy New Year! The company I'll be working with today is White African Hair. They sent me over this 22 inch reddish brown HG lace wig. Let's get into it. This wig comes with four combs in the inside, two adjustable straps. The knots come bleached, and the hairline also comes super pre-plucked. So you can take this wig fresh out the box and install it. And that's exactly what I did today. I did not pluck this wig. I did not bleach this wig. I did not even wash the wig. I took the wig straight out the box and slapped it right on. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> We're back with my girl, Nisha. We gave her a fresh braid down, gave her a fresh ball cap, applied her makeup to her ball cap, and now it's time to position that wig. We are going to sew the wig down first and then we're going to start applying our glue. We are doing four layers today. Our last layer has turned clear, so now it's time to lay that lace. And now I'm going to take my comb and my blow dryer, interchange it between warm and cool air to help adhere that wig to her skin. Now we're using our ultimate belt band from the BH Slay. We're going to tie this lace down for about 10 minutes and then we're going to come back and cut off all the excess lace. We are now back and now it's time to cut the excess lace.
Can we just appreciate how much Wild African plucked this wig? Like I didn't have to do any work out the box. And this scalp, this hairline, it's, it's giving. And we ain't even melted it down yet and it's already giving. I love that for us. So right now for the style today, we're going to do, we're gonna do baby hairs only on the sideburns, but we're also gonna have two pieces in the front, but we're not gonna slip those down. They're just gonna hang freely. And you'll just see that um, as the video continues. Now that we have our sideburns and our two pieces that are just going to hang in the front out the way, I'm going ahead now and parting and hot combing and waxing the hair down. Um, basically doing the foundation of the style, which is kind of like a V part. You're going to make two parts going like diagonally backward from the front of the head. Um, Cause we're doing like a ponytail, but it's not just slick straight back. Like you're gonna make two parts so you can see the parts. I think that's what gives it more character. Um, but explaining this on a voiceover is very difficult. So I would just rather you all watch um, and you'll just see it explain better. Now I'm going to spray that hairline with some hairspray and we're going to tie it down again for about five to 10 minutes. While that hairline is tied down, I'm going to continue to slick this hair back um, for this ponytail part of the hairstyle. We've already hot combed our sides kind of like down and towards the back. And for the middle, we're just going to hot comb that straight back, like just straight back. Um, but you also want to, you know, kind of like, you know, maneuver the hot comb to where the parts still show and you don't end up, you know, hot combing everything um, across her whole front to the back. Um, you definitely want to still be able to see those parts. That's kind of like the whole point. Uh, like I said um, before, just to give it more character um, and whatnot. You know, just give you those Y2K vibes because that's exactly what we're giving. We give it Y2K, early 2000, you know. Now it's time to take that elastic band off and then we're gonna start swooping our sideburns. But of course, first we're gonna, you know, hot comb them down, cut them with that eyebrow razor, curl them upwards or downwards with your mini flat iron. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back to curling them upwards. Um, I think that works better for me. Um, and then we're just gonna start swooping it with our foaming mousse. And then we're going to tie it down with um, two or three wrap strips. And you still want to leave those pieces hanging in the front. When you tie it down, it's going to make them lay even flatter to where they just, um, they just hold in position very great. Now 
To press this hair bone straight today, we'll be using our Miracle Mist Heat Protector Spray. I'll be sure to leave um, the CEO's Instagram in my uh, description box below and also the website to where you can purchase this. You just shake the bottle to activate it, spray it like a few inches um, from the section and just press the hair. And it's gonna protect it from heat, give it a nice luster, and you know, it's just gonna give you what you need. And it doesn't make your hair oily. So I really, really love that. It doesn't make the hair oily. And it smells great. It's like a strawberry lemonade scent. So I think you all will really enjoy it. So let's get into this press. And as you can see, that hair pressed out beautifully. Like I said in the beginning, I did not wash this wig. I did not bleach the wig, pluck the wig, nothing. This is fresh out the box. Loving it. Took that wrap strip off. And of course, you know, we did those sideburns. We customized them off camera. And I was just slicking everything, you know, in the position that I needed to go. And then we're going to start getting this ponytail together. What I like to use is my red can even spray. Um, it's a hairspray and it's a high hole. It's not the highest hole they have. I think the highest hole they have is the black can. But I like the red can because it really, really holds, but it doesn't turn white. Um, I think the black one kind of turns white a little bit. It's a little too strong for me. So I like using the red one. And we're just gonna swoop that into a ponytail. Like, um, not a high ponytail, um, not a low ponytail, but just like a regular, you know, like at the crown of the head type of thing. You'll see, you'll see. <laughs> So now for the actual ponytail, we're just gonna twist this into like an ice cream um, bun type of top knot, but you're gonna leave the ends loose. So once you tie it, you know, once you twist the hair around itself and then start wrapping it around the base, leave the ends out and secure it with some more rubber bands. You're gonna secure the knot with um, some more rubber bands. And once we um, have our ends loose and out, I'm gonna show you all how I spiked them to get that look that we got. And you see how everything is coming together. And um, if you don't want to do the spikes, you can definitely leave it like this. And that would definitely be a great style as well. But if you want to be a little extra, you know, have a little bit more character, let's spike it up. So I'm using my Pump It Up Spritz. I just uh, split those loose ends into two sections. Spray the spritz on each section. And then I flat ironed it. Um, and also, you like, kind of curved it upward. 
And you know, if you don't know anything about spritz and heat, when you put that heat on it, baby, it's not going nowhere. Like, spike <laughs> is locked into place. Like, that long piece is in the air and it's not going nowhere, baby. Like, it's, it's in there. And I just did that for the other side off camera as well. So, of course, you know, I had to trim the ends. You know, a lot of people say I'm scissor happy. And you know what? I actually might be. But I just love thick, healthy looking ends. I love, I just love a good cut. It just makes the look, I don't know, it just makes it hit better. Um, so, that's what I did. Um, I did like a little quick little rough free cut. And then I, you know, used my hand and made it like even all the way across. And then I'm gonna give it a slight bevel with my flat iron and then we will be done. Let's get into this recap and final look. Once again, I want to thank Why African Hair for sending me this bomb wig. Make sure you check the description box for all information and links on how to purchase this hair. I thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And turn on those notification bells. I just want to say Happy New Year. Positive vibes and positive vibrations. Love you. Goodbye.